Hi, I'm Robert Rape here with Consumer Energy Report. Got a question from Maria this week on my long recession scenario. And the question is, you've talked about depletion of resource causing the long recession. If depletion is an ongoing thing, does this not mean the long recession will go on forever? What happens after the recession? So just to review, uh, my long recession hypothesis goes like this. When demand for oil is very high, price of oil goes up and that slows down economies. And historically what happens, when, when that happens, demand for oil falls and the price of oil collapses. So oil has always got this cyclical price run up, demand destruction, price crash, and then recovery. So what happens in a world where you can't produce fast enough to ever get that excess capacity? Or if demand is not destroyed enough to allow the price to collapse? And this is what we've seen over the past few years. Uh, developing demand in countries like China, India, across Africa, South America has been so strong that even in the face of $100 oil that demand didn't totally collapse. It fell in the West, in the U.S. and in Europe, demand fell, but it continued to grow globally. And so even though the economy of the U.S. was greatly slowed down by high oil prices, we didn't get relief as we have in the past. And so my hypothesis is as long as demand continues to grow in these developing countries or we can't grow out production capacity fast enough, then the price won't be able to collapse as it usually does and we won't be able to have the recovery that we normally do. So as depletion occurs, doesn't that mean the long recession goes on forever? So here's what I think is going to happen. As, as prices stay high, the U.S. will decrease our demand and we've done this over the past few years. We've had a very large drop in demand. And as other countries continue to increase their demand, this will slow down at some point. So let's say oil prices continue to rise. They're $150, they're $200 a barrel. We will see at some point demand start to be arrested in some of these developing countries. And countries like the United States and, the European, and areas like the European Union will do more and more to shift away from oil. Now this is gonna be a very difficult, time-consuming process, very expensive. And so what I think we'll see is many years of very difficult uh, economic times, and then somewhere we're going to be, our, our oil dependence is going to be reduced enough that oil is no longer causing us that severe a problem with our economy. So I see the long recession being, being a, several years, decade, two decades of really hard economic times in countries that are highly dependent on oil, and eventually on the other side, we reduce our oil dependence. So that's, that's what I think will ultimately happen. So hope that's clear and uh, please tune in next week. Thank you.